Welcome back to the Spring Major Expert Division opening round hole number nine. Here we're going to be setting up for a sniper rough bump using a Kingmaker. There is no adjustment on this shot. <coughs> we are simply going to set our starting position, get our wind angle and wind strength, add spin as needed, and then shoot. No adjustment. All right. And now this only works with the Kingmaker. It's not tested with any other balls. If you want to play with a different wind-resistant ball, you'll have to figure out the, the additional tweaks that may need to be made. So we're going to start. We're going to be shooting this up the right-hand side. And what we want to do is have our second bounce land on the fairway just in front of us. Third bounce hit the rough right around where the bunker is. And then we want to roll out uh, into the front half of that small pad uh, just above the bunker there. So what I'm doing is I'm adding top spin and side spin per wind strength. If your wind is between 7 and 7.5, use 4.6 top spin. 7.6 to 8.1 use 4.2 topspin. 8.2 to 8.6 uses 3.8 topspin. And then 8.7 to 9.1 will use 3.5 topspin. Right? Wind angles. This is your side spin. So there's basically broken down into three, you know, major wind angles here. First of all, what we're looking at on the setup is this uh, fairway rough line right here right? at P3 max rest. APOC 5 and 6, you'll have two-thirds of your clearing into the fairway. APOC 7 is one-third of the clearing into the fairway, and APOC 8 is clearing touching the fairway. That's at P3 max rest, just like you see here. Now, wind angles. Uh, there's going to be, you know, basically there's several, but three major ones. And what we're looking at is if it goes kind of straight down the fairway, it kind of comes off to the top corner up here, or if it kind of goes off a little more to the side over here, you know, that's, that's, that's the ones I've been seeing. That's the ones I'm preparing for. Right. And so if you have the straight we're going to call this the number three wind, right? This is number two, and this is number one. Um, if you have number one, then you use three right spin. If you have number two, then use two right spin. If you have number three wind angle where you're pointing straight down the, the fairway, then use one right spin. Now, that is also going to vary depending on uh, wind strength a little bit, right? And the bounce you're getting. So, double check that. Uh, what I've been doing is basically playing right around one and a half to two side spin. You know, when I'm kind of more facing towards this area, when I'm facing this area, I I'm using more like two to two two to three but it, it really just depends on where at in here you are what you're looking at right makes a difference but the safe easy way is you know straight down the fairway one right spin off to the top left corner two right spin and if you're all the way over to the left with the heavier crosswind then you can use three right spin no uh adjustment no curl no op just place your target set your spins shoot the ball all right do your best to hit perfect looking for right around 380 385 ish on the drive and that's going to set us up for a rings for men a sniper shot rough bump for the albatross Eight point eight wind. We use the three and a half top spin. 
if here's the thing if you if you have too much top spin and you roll out too far you're going to get stuck between clubs if you have a grizzly in your bag then there's a gap so you may want to as a precautionary measure bring yourself a goliath or a b52 with your sniper so that there's no gap in club coverage for the approach i mean it's not a big deal if you're between clubs, you can bounce the Grizzly up off the pad uh, from the left or the right, you know. So still reachable, even if you end up in that bunker on the left or you end up in the rough, short. Uh, still plenty of room to get down to the green for the easy eagle no matter what. This is very safe. So you don't really have to worry about it. The worst you should walk away with here is the eagle. Unless you time it out or something. So what I'm doing is starting with a base spin set of three right spin and two top spin. I'm always going to keep the three right spin. But with that base spin added, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the green ring touching the fairway on the top. And I'm going to have the ball guide going through the center of the cup right like you see there once i i've got that then i'm going to re-spin my top spin so that the tip of the ball guide is just about half a square a little less than a half a square through the hole you want to just be through the back of the cup you don't want to be just touching the front of the cup and you definitely don't want to be short of the cup right you want to be just through the back of the cup After you respin it, right, you're going to get set up for your pull. Now, this is the key to making this shot, or at least it has been for me, because we're seeing these different wind angles, and they're definitely playing a big factor in how this uh, shot rolls towards the hole. So I'm going to line up. I'm going to get my... Get ready to pull. Right before I pull, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my offset. So here I am. I'm ready to pull the adjustment. I'm lined up with my wind arrow, and you can see that my center line is right of the flag, right? You're going to either have that, you're going to have kind of straight at the flag, or you're going to have your center line to the left of the flag. And that's going to determine how you offset it, right? It's very simple. If your center line is right of the flag, like it is here, then you want your ball guide to be going through the right center of the cup, just like that, right? If your center line is straight even with the hole, then you want your ball guide going straight through the cup. If your center line is facing left of the stick then you're going to want your ball guide going through the left edge of the cup now that might sound a little funny but the reason for that is because we have to over adjust this to make up for the wind push and that pull that that has us pulling so when when my angle is here right and i'm adjusting back this way i'm pulling too far to the right so I'm going to end up missing it to the right if I don't tweak my offset. That's why we're doing it this way, and it makes it very, very simple. If you're straight at the hole, aim straight at the hole. If you're right of the flag, aim right center. If you're left of the flag, aim left center. Beyond that, no, uh, no overpower, no curl. P2, minus 15% at slider. We're counting rings for men. 1 is 3, 2 is 5, 3 is 8, 4 is 11, 5 is 13, 6 is 16, 7 is 18, 8 is 21, 9 is 24, 10 is 27, 11 is 29, 12 is 32, 14 is 36, I'm sorry, 13 is 36, 14 is 38, 15 is 41, 16 is 43, 17, 46, 18 is 49, 19 is 51, and 20 is 54% slider. Good luck, everyone. P2 minus 15. Really good opportunity here for a free-to-play albatross on hole number nine.
pull this one as straight as you can. I'm not trying to flicker any any side or the other, right? Just trying to get a straight pull, trying to make sure I got my offset where it needs to be, and hit perfect. 